uh, power plants have to perform regular inspections on their components to assess that they are still fit for, for service. Some of these inspections are challenging. They generate a vast amounts of data that are very time consuming for humans to, to, to analyze. Currently, reactor vessel upper head examinations are performed by a large team of examiners. Uh, they're highly skilled, uh, that means they're expensive, of course. And a large team is needed just because the data can be acquired now much faster than any one person can evaluate. In addition to that, the utility also has to perform independent oversight of the examiner, so they need their own highly qualified personnel to review the examination data after the inspection vendor has performed it. They're trying to catch mistakes that were made by the inspection vendor, and it is easy to make mistakes because of the large volume of data. Examiners can go years without seeing a flaw, so that really leads into complacency. The type of evaluation that is performed, it's just a scan line by scan line by scan line fashion, looking for small indications, and it can be miles of data. The recent field trial, it was four miles of data if you lined it all up, so it's a very tedious process, and you do it you know, over a long shift, 12 hours a day for three or four days straight. EPRI is trying to develop tools to assist the inspector in doing these activities. So we're looking to leverage AI tools to screen the data before it goes to, to the inspector. In this way, instead of looking at over four miles of data, they can look at uh, hundreds of feet of data that have the more relevant indications that require their expertise in assessing it. This would help them focus their time and energy in the parts that really matter in the data, so it solves the fatigue issue. And it also means that they're looking at data that really needs their attention, so it also avoids the complacency issue. With all that, it also saves time for the utility since this happens during outage time at the plant. So it helps them to complete these inspections in faster time. These examiners are highly specialized, of course, and there's only so many of them to go around and outages in the U.S. occur in the spring and in the fall, so they're all kind of stacked up on top of each other. And there are times when utilities can't find people, there are times when inspection vendors can't find enough people. So this AI is one option where you could reduce your staffing at each site so the examiners then can go to other sites. Definitely the utilities will see a benefit of that because they won't need to have as many people on site, there's less people to go through in processing, should be less cost as well if the current examiners are more focused on the areas to look at versus digging through everything. In the next five years we're looking at other applications. This was the first application was the upper head inspections and I think we've seen the, the benefit there and I think we'll continue to make improvements with what we're doing for upper head inspections but I see it going into other applications like Dissimilar metal wells, it's also a challenging application. So we're, we're already working on a project with that and hopefully we'll get to do a field trial with that very soon. Mm -hmm.